Hi guys, how flights? So this is a, an update I've been meaning to do for a while now. Um, this is basically just an update to show you what we use during the breeding season, during the racing season, feeding wise, supplement wise, whatever you. So I'll go through it now, but first of all, I'll start the video off by saying, we don't think we're experts. This is just how we manage our pigeons, regardless of what, our, what comments I've had in the past. Um, but this is how we manage our pigeons. We're different to everybody else and everyone else is different to us. That's the good thing about pigeon racing, very diverse. So I'll start the basically video off by showing you the two mixes. Okay, so this mix here is Versalaga UK Junior Breed and Wing. You've got plenty of breed and wings out there on the market. You've got your, um, your countrywide and your top flight. Okay, we tried them both, we tried all three of them, um, but the the countrywide and the top flight have a very, very high protein, uh, so, uh, sorry, uh, pea content, which we don't like. Um, peas are very good, full of protein, but um, it's too much. It's about probably about an 80% um, ratio to peas to everything else in the other ones. But that's just the uh, right amount of peas in this one. Obviously, you've got your, your safflower as well, which is good. And you've got your uh, your wheat, which is a filler, and your groats and your diary and stuff. That's fillers. They're all fillers in, inside your. Um, that'll make the bulk up of your mix, your pigeon feed. Okay. And on the left hand side, this is a completely different mix. So as you can see, there's no peas in this mixture whatsoever. The only beans that are in there are soya beans. And this little fella, okay, this little pea contains double the amount of protein. Than a normal standard pea. Okay, you know yourself in in like in human terms as well. Soya is a replacement for for meat because there's so much protein. You got your you got your your soya mince meat and stuff like that because it's a very high protein content. So how do I know this? I've got I've got a very good understanding of what protein does to your body and your fat. So I used to go to the gym a lot for about four years. Okay, so protein and fats work in different ways. Protein is to build muscle and repair muscle. Works very well. And your fats are to put on weight. So we add these two together. We race on this mix, by the way. This is our racing mixture. We might add, you know, another mix just to bulk it up the last couple of days of the week, but we might not. We'll see how they go on this. But it's a very, very good mixture. Um, as you can see, there's no peas in that one I just said. So the bulk of the mix is your safflower and your sunflower hearts, full of fat. Same with the tares and the hemp seed and the linseed. And um, there's only one filler in this mixture, which is the wheat. You've got your you've got your pellets in here also, and these are added to the mixture for iron. So you've got your carrot and your cabbage pellets. Obviously, the green for the cabbage and the orange for the carrots. So that there mixture is very, very high in fat. So what we do is we, we tend to give our birds, when their babies are just hatching out, it's fucking horrible weather, guys. Um, we tend to give them the smaller grains, putting on weight, okay? Pump them full of that stuff. And also, smaller grains are easier to, easier to digest for the old birds and the young ones. So we'll start introducing this these peas Obviously, you, we do out. We do. Oh, I'll show you now what we do anyway. But these peas are better to be introduced when the babies are start to grow muscle. So, so when you get to the you know the 12, 15 day mark, when they're flapping about in the in the box, exercising the wings or whatever you, and start feeding themselves, whatever whatever age that may be. Okay. Peas, obviously, for building muscle. All right. So we use that mixture and we use that mixture together, simultaneously, all right? So when it comes to racing, sorry, sorry, when it comes to uh, breeding and feeding our young ones, this is our mixture that we make ourselves. Obviously we make two, we get two bags and, mi and mix it ourselves. So that is our breeding mixture. See, it's not very heavy in the pea side of things. The pea con content for us is just right. But there's a lot of fat in this as well. Like, like I said, fat makes you put on weight. A lot of seeds, a lot of hemp, a lot of uh, linseed as well. 
safflowers, tears. That for us is a very good breeding mixture. Don't feed our pigeons maize either. All right, so that's our breeding mixture. But for racing, we'll be using this predominantly. We're a sprint-based um, team. Me and my dad, we don't fly over the channel or anything. That's where your peas come into uh, come into effect, and your maize as well, sugar. But when it comes to sprint racing, fat, fat is energy as well. So that's what you've got to think of as well. It's not just putting on weight. You eat fat, it turns into a lot of energy. So that's, hence the name of the bag. I'll show you in a sec. Okay guys, that's what we use for racing. Versalaga Energy Plus. Very, very good corn. All right? So this is where I've been standing and coming in and out. It's absolutely pissing down with rain. Storm Dennis has hit us, taking trampolines and fucking wheelie bins everywhere. Um, it's been pissing down with rain for the past two or three weeks now. Non-stop, we can't get the Woodward Cox out. It's just shocking, it's just shocking. So, okay. Also here, we have supplements that we use. For during the breeding season, we'll give them 11 in one a couple of days a week, maybe three days a week. Clean water is very important to us. We give our pigeons clean water all of the time. All right, so three or four days a week, we'll use that. For racing, you've got your vehicle nest. That's what we clean our, our lofts out with and we sterilize our, our drinkers up with a Milton. Okay, for racing, we'll be given a couple of things to go this, this season. This is Oasis. You can't get this on the general market online or whatever. You can't get it on Merca Systems. You have to go to Brad Cowood, okay, um, direct, because his, his father of the late great Nigel Cowood made that tonic himself. As you can see, you can see what it does for the pigeons there. Very good stuff. Um, lots of people use this. So we'll be giving to that to our pigeons during the our Woodward Cox during the racing season once or twice a week. Um, we will also be using a couple of others. We'll be using Sedacol, which is a, basically a, a liver disinfectant. Cleans the liver out and it's very good stuff um, for the pigeons. We'll be using that once a week. And um, Wonder Pigeon as well. Um, as you, If you follow Peter Raymond on here, Wonder Pigeon is a very good tonic to use for your pigeons. We've used it before in the past, very good. Um, and there are th other things we use during the uh, racing season as well. <coughs> We're a big fan of nasaline. You can get this online, Merca Systems. I actually got this on Amazon, um, and it's very, very good stuff. I actually, have to buy a new bottle because there's not much left in there, as you can see. But that clears their head, so we'll give that to them. Well, basically, it clears the na nasal passage and the upper respiratory tract. Uh, you administer this to your pigeons every 15 days. It makes them look like zombies for about half an hour, but it's very good stuff. They'll start to um, sneeze out all the gunk that's built up inside them dust basically, whatever you, um, but get rid of any mucus in, in the upper respiratory tract. So we use nasaline every 15 days with the Woodward Cox, okay? And every week before racing, the basket at night, we'll use Brux. That's one droplet in the eye. That will disinfect the eye. If you notice, if you, if you go to your club and put your pigeons in a basket with everyone else's, they'll start to fight, especially Woodward Cox. They'll scrap like fuck. So basically this stuff, is to make sure that they come, we'll give this to, to them before they go to a race and after they come home from a race to disinfect the eyes, just to make sure there's no nasties left in the eyes from being pecked or what have you. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I think I've covered everything. That's what we'll, we, well, that's what we do. I'm not telling everybody what to do or this is the best thing since sliced bread because this is the way we use our products and this is the way we feed our pigeons. So I'll do another update soon. Um, there is some good news. We've got another applicant in the club to race against. So that brings us more up to about, I think it's six flyer members this year. Not a very big club, but what we do make up for in the club and, and combine, we uh, make up with quality. We've got Andrew Sara, who's uh, won the RPRA Award Winner of the Year this year. Eight combines in total. He's in our club. Um, but it's competition that we love. We won the club a couple of times since we started back up and we were in the top 10 every week. We've had last year, even it was a poor season for us last year, we um, 
we had our fair share of seconds and thirds. So um, we're looking forward to it. Obviously, we've got the Anguins in the Fed as well. The Anguins are now probably one of the top two of Dirk van den Bolkmen, the dynasty. Just Google their pigeons if you're interested or if you don't believe me. But the Anguin pigeons, they've basically got the son of Kittle. I'm not really into van den Bolks like that, nor is my dad. But if you want to go and have a look and see what they've got, trust me, they've got some quality pigeons there. They know what they're doing as well. So there we go, guys. I'll, um, I'll do another update soon. We've got some babies in the nest in the Woodward loft. Um, the Woodward cocks are starting to behave themselves now that they've got, they've got babies in there. There are some cocks in there that still want two boxes, but that's not fucking happening. So uh, we'll just have to keep an eye on that. So shouts out to everybody on the channel. Okay. Peter Raymond, really glad that he's doing updates again. Ham's Flight Kit Box. Germ Tipplers made a really smart little uh, kit box to go under his main loft. Really, really nice. So head on over to Germ Tipplers to have a look. Adrian P. Everybody that's on the channel. Um, I love your videos. Like uh, Peter Raymond said, pigeon, the pigeon racing is a very small community, community these days. So we've got to support each other and help each other out. Uh, there's only about a handful of us left, so um, you know, guys. Shouts out to everybody on the channel: Hams Flight Kit Box, Germ Tipplers, as I just said, Peter Raymond, Adrian P, um, Hidden Hollow Lofts, Donovanville Lofts, White House Lofts, Red Star Lofts, Blessings Lofts, um, Tipplerman Two Six Six, B Rod, High Flyers Eighteen. Everybody that subscribed to the channel with, with content, I watch your videos every time they're uploaded, and I always give you a like. So. You know, hope you have a really good breeding season, an even better racing season. And uh, most of all, enjoy your pigeons. Okay, guys, see you soon. Cheers.